Ladies and gents, BKB presents five two minute rounds of bare knuckle boxing in this international contest. Introducing first in the blue corner, representing the Philippines. He is a seasoned fighter and an MMA champion, making his BKB debut. Roland Gabriel the Incredible! <laughs> Across the ring, his opponent stands in the red corner. Representing London with an undefeated BKB record of two fights and two wins, George Hit Hard Hilliard! Our referee in charge of the action is Andy Albrighton. It's two of you. I went through the rules in the dressing rooms. You know what I both expect of you, okay? Keep your fingers closed at all time and no hitting and holding, okay? Anybody misbehaves, let me deal with it, okay? Touch them up. Let's have some fun, lads. Let's get down to business. Glove pro for Hilliard, 23 wins, seven defeats. Gloved amateur, 39 and 10. Won the WBU International, won the WBC Confederation World Title, the IBA World Title in the USA, and the British Masters ranked seventh in the world as a pro. That's not a record, that is it, Tom. Well, let's see now. Nice jab from there. Uh, when I, when I interviewed him, he said, I call me Gab, he said, Rolando, it means pretty boy, he says, and he said, I don't like it. <laughs> Ooh, oh, nice shot, shot, great shot. Picked it as well, knew what was, well, yeah. One, two, touch with the left, drop the right, and again. Oh, and again, through. Again. He looks focused, doesn't he? He does, and he's picking them shots well. Oh, got through again and again. George has got to come. He can't take too many of them. No, that's it. George trying to work off the jab, then he's straight through with the left. But look. Oh, got through again, George. That was better from yeah, that George was better Hilliard. From Hilliard, yeah. I think it was a right hand that snuck through. Yep. More so when he had. Um, in the corner. Yeah, Gabriel put, uh, pinned in the corner. You know, maybe that's what he should look to do now, Tom. Maybe push it. Oh, because that this guy wobbled a little bit there. Tom. Oh, He's two. Wobbling. He's wobbling. Them two legs, shots. Them legs wobbled a little bit. three. There it is. Oh. He's all right, though, Tom. I think he's giving the thumbs up to his corner. Crisp shots, though, from uh, Gabriel. Tom. Sharp, crisp shots there. That's uh, well, it's a 10 8 round now, unless he puts him down. Oh, straight. He looks composed, doesn't he? Up, down, then... And it's all the left. And he's comfortable. Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying, what I think See, Iliad has to, has to take him out of his comfort zone. Yeah. He's jabbing with the left, yeah. he's hitting with the left. Can't bump. He looks composed, though, Gabriel D, doesn't he? I like his stance as well, uh, Gabriel D. Side on, picking his, knows exactly what he's doing. Weight in the middle, look how he distributes his weight to the back foot. A little lay back, or keeps, oh. the, keeps the feet in range to, to throw his own counter punch. And to be back. fair, when George has come forward, his movement gets him out of trouble. Oh, but that's where he... Oh, oh. did you see that? Oh, dear. Counter right hand then, Tommy walked right onto a beautiful right hand then from Gabriel, a sneaky little counter right hand then as uh, Hilliard came in. But he had him in the corner then as well. He's picking him now. He's picking his shots nice. And for... He's, he's small... Well, it's not, he is a bit smaller, but he's keeping the distance and yeah. then getting through. He's fighting his fight, Tommy. He, yeah. He's got exactly where he wants to be. No mark, and he said to me, mark on his he face. also said as well, by the way, he said, I'm, fe I'm, I'm fighting to feed my family. Oh, good shot again from... Beautiful shots, like you say, Tom, picking his shots well. He's fe fighting to feed his family. Yeah. He's not wasting anything. 
Oh, good shots. And there. again, through again. You won't take too many of them. You know what I like? The variation of right hand, some straight, oh, some bolo. He's getting through too often now. Here we go again, straight right hand through the middle. George's game look, but yeah, he's, he's getting through too often. Orlando Gabriel D just can't wait to get at him again. But notice he doesn't rush into anything. He should say, yeah, wait to pick his shot. He's calm, picks his shots well. Doesn't waste much. And he keeps clubbing him, doesn't he? Clubbing him. Oh, through again. Beautiful again. It's the angle of the shots as well, Tom. He wants the range, see? He doesn't yeah, want he him in close. To, yeah, he wants to keep it at range. See, that's where I think Hilliard, he needs to put, he needs to put on steady pressure, steady yeah, pressure. Uh, great up and down yeah. again from D. The more room you give this guy, the, 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 the worse he'll make you look, Tom. Yeah. Because he picks his shots. He picks his shots well. Different angles. You need to smother his work. Going to the belly then. Well, he goes up and down. Yeah. You never know what's coming next, see? Uppercuts, body like shots. He doesn't waste much, does he? Single no, shots, economical. double Absolutely. shots, everything near him. Oh, no, and then go George. And then back comes yeah, Gabriel. That's a good shot from George, that yeah. first one. But all he did, Walk it's on. the old story. He hit him, and it made Gabriel want to hit him back. Yeah. Oh, oh, shot. Do you see what he actually did then, Tom? He was looking at the belly. He was looking at the stomach and whipped, and whipped it over the top. That was a good feint, actually. He looked at his belly and whipped the left up over the top to the head. Well, it worked. And it worked nicely. He knows what he's doing, this guy, Tom. He's took some punishment, George. Oh. And the body shots. Look, he's teeing it now, then the right, then the left. Then the right, and the body. He's taking some punishment now, George, to be fair. See how he doesn't waste his shots, Tom? No. He's got one shot in his locker, and all he takes. I've been impressed with uh, Gabriel yeah. so far. Me too, Tom. Look at look at his face, not a mark on his face, Tom. And these hands are quick. Yeah. Better from George, clipped him. Oh, hang on. Head came up and caught Gabriel D. George is fighting on a oh good effort. He's fighting. He's fighting on adrenaline now, George. Isn't he? He's trying, Tom. He's, he's working hard. He's trying. But he, as I said, he knows he's going to have to risk it to look for that big shot that we talked about. That could open up the door for him. Yeah. We've seen it already yeah. tonight. He's a good counter punch. Nice right to the body. Right to the head. Left and there, see, to you see the one, the, the, the one two yeah. there, rather. The movements oh, he's got time. through too many times. Yeah. His referee That's says he's not. Call. Well yeah. done, well done, referee. No disrespect to uh, oh, George no, Great right call. You know, he's a warrior. He's a tough guy, but, you know, he was slowly, you know, broken apart there. No. The referee's right. Yeah, there was a good call from the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee stopped the fight after 57 seconds in the fourth round. And the winner in the blue corner, Roland the Incredible! Well, what a fight, great fight. Uh, not a mark on your face. Can you talk us through it a little bit? Did you enjoy your debut over in England on the BKB? Um, I don't enjoy hurting a family man. If you, if you will tell me, I was talking to George. George, I mean, I respect George, but if he's a, if he's a single fat boy, I would kill him. But he is, a, he is a family man with a boy, and I have two daughters, so I don't want to damage him that much. I was talking to him. And that's great, that's great to hear. Obviously, you've got the utmost respect for your opponent. But, you know, just talk us through the fight. I was, you know. I was, I was talking to him in round three. I told him, George, just give up. Let it go because you, have a you are a father and you have a son. Just let it go. 
And man, he don't want to give up. And thank, thank you for the referee for serve, sa saving his life. Because I don't want to damage uh, someone's father, you know. I love my daughter so much and my wife. You listen to me, Stephanie Repogoda D, I love you so much. And my daughters, I love you. And that was a great fight. Can I just say, um, obviously you've shown a lot of respect for your opponent. We've seen you at the end of the fight. You were shouting for belts. Is that your next move? Is that what you, uh, you want to move on to next? Yeah. World title fight? I, I want to, I'm, I'm here in the sport because I want to be a champion. I want to be a champion. And I'm training to be a champion, not just, not just to, for fame and money. I'm here to be a champ, Sir Jim. And I'm not, I'm not really like forcing my wealth, myself in, in the title shot. But I hope you will give me my title shot next year in 75 to 76. But if Barry Jones want to do it in 74, let's do it. And that was so I'll just uh, round things up. That was a great performance, a uh, great debut. One last thing. To those who feel, who feel depressed, remember there is a God Almighty who cares for you. Who cares for you. Don't be depressed. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you again. All the very best.